911 calls are made every single day to authorities for all kinds of situations. Perhaps someone needs medical assistance or something worse may have occurred. But while most calls result in a closed case for authorities who are able to gather what they need, the chilling truth behind some calls to this day remains unsolved. Here are 10 mysterious 911 calls. Number 10 Hello? is Sherry Papini. On November 2nd, 2016, Sherry Papini was jogging near her home in Redding, California. Her husband, Keith, was working at the time, and when he came home, he was surprised to find that Sherry hadn't returned. Going out looking for her, he found Sherry's phone at a mile from their home on the ground. Panicked, Keith called 911 and while on the phone, described his fear that his wife may have been abducted. But the most harrowing detail was that strands of her hair had been pulled out of her head as her headphones had been yanked off of her. Sherry disappeared for three weeks. However, one day she was suddenly discovered on a street, her hair cut off and her hands in restraints. She weighed just 87 pounds at that time. So far to this day, no one is certain about what happened to her. And despite the 911 call and all of the information gathered, even she doesn't remember exactly what happened. Number nine is Jamie Santos. Many mysterious 911 calls end in a story that's less than happy. This was the case with the murder of 27-year-old Jamie Santos on October 28, 1991. After Illinois police received a 911 call from a payphone, they arrived at Jamie's apartment to find her in her bed, dead and her head neatly propped up on a pillow after having been smothered by it. The 911 call which reported her death has left many questions. Was the caller the killer or the witness to the murder? Investigators believe that if the caller had been the killer, then they may have been more remorseful about killing Jamie than originally thought. The only other evidence is that it's likely that Jamie knew her killer and there was no forced entry and no sign of assault. The man who made the 911 call has never been identified having hung up as soon as the operator asked him when he'd been to Jamie's apartment. Number eight is the Bigfoot Caller. Bigfoot is often dismissed by skeptics because no specimen has ever been found. However, two 911 calls from 1996 provide a compelling argument that something is wandering around in the American wilderness. Something that we can't possibly understand. Both 911 calls were made by a male resident of Kitsap County in Washington State. His property looked out onto the countryside, and while his dog was playing near some trees, it was suddenly thrown through the air by something or someone. The man found the dog dead and called 911. However, not long after this, he made another call. This time, he came face to face with an almost seven foot tall creature. During the call, he couldn't be sure whether it was a man or a beast, but the call itself does make you wonder just what he encountered out there. Number seven Hello? is Anthonette K. Dito. The disappearance of nine-year-old Anthonette Caedito involved a puzzling 911 call which will chill you to the bone. On April 6, 1986, around 3 a.m., a man arrived at the Caedito residence in New Mexico. Anthonette's mother was asleep, but her sister heard a man persuading Anthonette that he was her uncle. When Anthonette opened the door, the man abducted her. One year later, a 911 operator received a call from a young girl claiming to be Anthonette. She told the operator that she was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and that's when a man appeared on the line shouting at her for using the phone. The girl screamed and the phone call ended. Four years later, a teenage girl wrote on a napkin in a restaurant pleading for help before leaving with a couple. Some believe that she was Anthonette, and to this day, no one knows exactly what happened to her. Number six Hello? is John Benet Ramsey. 
JonBenet Ramsey was a six-year-old girl who died under mysterious circumstances. As it turns out, a 911 recording has only added to that mystery. JonBenet's parents received a ransom note at their house in Boulder, Colorado on December 26, 1996. The note claimed that JonBenet had been kidnapped, and JonBenet's mother, Patty, then called 911, panicking. Just eight hours later, JonBenet's body was found in the basement of the Ramsey's home. This tragic case has been picked apart from all angles, even having several documentaries made about it. The 911 call is of particular interest, with some speculating that a young girl's voice can be heard in the background. However, the Boulder DA has cleared the family of any involvement. The case is a mystery to this day, as is the 911 recording. Number five Hello? is Ruth. One of the most mysterious and most disturbing 911 calls ever recorded is known only as Ruth. No one is exactly sure of the details surrounding the recording, which is one of the reasons it's so puzzling. The caller is identified only as Ruth. She lived alone, was elderly, and was reporting a prowler on her property. While on the call, the prowler breaks in and attacks her. Ruth is tragically killed, and the prowler is never caught. Some 911 operators have identified the call as a legitimate 911 recording, which was often used to train 911 operators. This is because the operator who took Ruth's call did not follow procedure, including not getting her address immediately for the police to use. Though its origins are surrounded in mystery, the recording itself is harrowing and terrifying, and stays with all of those who listen to it. Number four is the Lane Bryant shooting. On February 2nd, 2008, a man walked into the Lane Bryant store in Harlem and attempted to rob the business. Thinking that the man was only interested in money, the store manager, another employee of the store, and four customers who were present did as the robber asked and went to the back of the store. There, the robber's true intentions were revealed. He killed five of them, with one of the victims surviving her wounds. One of the victims called 911 before the shooting, and the call was recorded and captured the killer's voice. Enhanced audio has been released of the call, along with a new sketch of what the killer might look like now. The audio is still garbled, but it's hoped that someone may recognize the voice, so that those who died that day did not have to do so in vain. As of the time of this video, the killer's identity sadly remains a mystery. Number three Hello? is the Russian military officer. It sounds like something out of a spy novel, but a mysterious 911 call in 2014 had federal agents and the military combing the Detroit area for a Russian military officer. A man claiming to be that officer had called 911 and said that he'd been abducted, stabbed, and left for dead. He wasn't able to give his exact whereabouts as he bled, but he did describe it as an abandoned factory with machinery lying around. Knowing that this could be a potential international incident, with foreign personnel being killed on U.S. soil, federal agents took over the investigation. Despite this, the man was never found, but numerous theories exist from it being a hoax to a Russian diversion or even a legitimate killing. The only thing that researchers did discover was that the call was made from a Russian cell phone calling from the Detroit area. Number two Hello? is Alex Crane. The recording of Alexander Crane's 911 call makes for chilling listening. Not just because it's the story of a child murdering his parents, but that the killer himself seems to have no understanding or memory of why he did it. Alexander Crane killed his parents in December of 2010, near Lake Okeechobee. He then made a mysterious call to emergency services. The recording of that call suggests that Alexander was potentially a victim too. He tells the operator that he was sleeping and the next thing that he knew, he had a gun in his hand and that he had shot both of his parents. Debate continues over whether Alexander was indeed a victim of murdering while sleepwalking, or whether he was more manipulative. Either way, Alexander Thomas Crane is currently serving time in a juvenile prison. The truth behind his actions remain a mystery to this day. And number one is Brandon Lawson. 
26-year-old Texan Brandon Lawson was the terrified caller involved in one of the most mysterious 911 calls of all time. On August 8th, 2013, Brandon's truck ran out of gas in a remote part of San Angelo. His first response was to call his brother and let him know that he needed being picked up, but his second call was the real cause of the mystery. Brandon called 911 and spoke with an operator. He relayed a strange hurried message that he was being chased through the woods by somebody he didn't know and that another person had been shot. After several gunshots are heard on the call, it sounds as though Brandon runs into his pursuer and the call goes dead. Brandon Lawson was never seen or heard from again. Theories abound as to what or who he ran into that night, but no one so far has uncovered the truth. 10 mysterious 911 calls that to this day have not been solved. However, if anyone out there has information, please contact your local authorities as the families of these victims need to know what happened.